good everybody, Cliffs here, back with another video. And today's video is going to be about my rod and reel arsenal, fresh water and salt water. Before I start, please press uh, click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications for some awesome content. Without further ado, let's get started. First we're going to start with fresh water. So, this right here is my lose speed stick I bought it while I was in Tennessee I'm gonna be using this for jigs pitching uh, worms and that everything basically and I have 10 pound test monofilament on this and it is Six foot six, medium, and fast taper action. Okay, now on to my bait casters. This one is my Abu Garcia Black Max, and I have 12 pound monofilament on it. I birds nested earlier, so I haven't got a chance to take it out, but it's a six to four to one gear ratio and I can cast this a long ways and it's six foot six and it is medium action and yeah so and I use this for top water and that and sometimes jigs and that but I mainly don't uh, pitch uh, jigs and that with spinning because I can't get a good, it just doesn't feel good on spinning, but on bait casters, I'm amazing at it. So I mainly uh, use crankbaits and that on spinning and so forth, but bait casters are top water and jigs and that. So that's that one. And this one is my seven foot uh, bait casting rod. It has a Viper Bass Pro rod on a loose speed spool American Hero reel. And I have 12 pound monofilament on and it is a seven to one to one gear ratio and this I mainly use for top water because I can get it out farther and I can have more action with it but this is mainly for top water and yeah Next is my Abu Garcia Max 2 Z30. And for this, I go for use this for carp, catfish, and what, whatnot. And I went fishing today. And I was caught around 11 fish, 11 catfish and 11 bass. I was using corn and bread. This works amazing. And it has four ball bearings and it has, I'd say a 12 pound mono on it. And it's about six foot six. Yeah, that's this rod. Lastly, for fresh water is my fly rod. It's a Martin Classic Fly Tackle 8 foot 5 6 weight fly rod. For this, I go for smallmouth, trout, and maybe sometimes carp on top water. But I usually go for smallmouth, but I just started using the fly rod once I went to Tennessee. But I'm going to start using fly rod a lot more, but 
I'm going to start using it for smallies and trout and maybe largemouth, but that's about it, and some carp. But this is the fly rod, and it's a, it, yeah, <laughs> this is the fly rod. Okay, and last is salt water. Salt water, I use this for... I use this for jigging sometimes. It's a eight foot, no. I don't know where my other rod went. But this is my eight foot, uh, oh, this is my eight foot rod for small uh, sharks and that. It works amazing. It's a, competitor spinning combo. It has single ball bearings. It ha I have 20 pound mono on it, green. And I put on a 80 pound shock leader. And I catch about everything on this. I've caught in skates, rays. I've caught almost about everything on this. It's pretty nice I've had this about almost two years now it's done very well yeah this is my eight foot competitor rod in real next is my seven foot jigging rod but I have this tied up for small drum because I was gonna go out in the inlet to go for a small drum but I end up not going so this is my jigging rod and bait rod to catch bait but it's a seven foot competitor spinning combo same as the other one and it has 20 pound test monofilament on it and it's a medium heavy action rod and this catches me about two three pound bluefish all that i've caught in skates and that on rods like these they're amazing rods i've i just bought this actually but i've had one before that was the same kind and i caught a bunch of bluefish on it so i really like these and last one is my 12 foot offshore angler Offshore angler rod in Rio. I have a pen rival level wind on this, and this is for drum bull reds and all that. Because uh, when and cobia, this is my cobia rod too. And I'm gonna start using this in mid May, June, all the way through. October for the bull reds when they start coming but this is an amazing rod I bought this from Bass Pro for 100 bucks I got this for about 60 it's a good rod and reel it casts a mile not lying but this is an amazing rod and reel and yeah that's it for today guys thanks for watching as always like comment subscribe